Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 24 of my single player Tarkov Let's Play series. Today we're going to go into customs. We've got to kill some scabs and I'm going to do the Wanderer quest. I used Quest Skipper, which is made by the same person who uh, made a few other mods. You can see there's a skip button. So if there's ever a, a task that is just ridiculous, and this is me blaming myself for not doing this because I misread the task, but still we can do, we can hold left control and we can skip any of these. This one scares me. Trying to do these, that scares me. But we're going to go into customs now and we're going to try and finish off some of these quests and then I may head to, uh, to the mall because we need to be able to find these last of these CPU fans. If I'm lucky, depending on where we go, we may be able to find a couple. We'll check the CPUs that are, depending on where we spawn, that are near the train rail line, like near the train car, and then we'll use that, and hopefully we'll find some CPU fans in there and be able to move on from that quest because it feels like it's just been hovering around forever, honestly. And it just doesn't feel like it's ever going away. So. Alrighty. Let's do it. Yep. Spawned pretty much where I wanted to. We gotta place water bottles in this train wagon and MREs. So this is good that we spawn here. Hopefully we won't get shot off spawn. We're just gonna watch our left side. Okay, we're good. I don't know exactly where I've got to place them. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay, it's only five seconds. That's not bad at all. Do this. If you want to know to do that, you just hit tab and then reopen tab and it will let you place things immediately. So these are the three water bottles. Done. Now, we have the gear tab open, it'll load faster. Like that. See how much smoother that was? Okay. What else did I have to do for Wanderer? Was that it? Oh, that was it. And I get an ammunition case out of it. Uh, we'll also check the PCs in the here too, seeing as we're so close to them, because I can just shelf them up the bullet. So there should be a couple down in the van. And then there's a few back in that building back there. When we die, we at least got this quest done. If there's no survive, uh... You know, prerequisite on it, like survive and extract, so we've just done it, which is good. Oh, really? Allow me to shelf these. Thank you. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Oh. Okay, we'll go back through the building. Through this one. What's that? No, oh, I thought it was a jacket there. It was the blue uh, barrels making me think it was a jacket. I'm just going to turn... I just like doing this for comparison to the old graphics on occasion. Just flicking the mans on and off so people can see what it's like. Right, there should be some PCs in here. Let's have a look. Come on, CPU fans, man. I only need three of them. This is doing my head in now. Not even one. We found a goddamn graphics card, but not a CPU fan. Oh my god. 
Um, and you can see I've added the mod encumbrance bar. I will be updating the wiki, by the way. Not the wiki, the Google Doc. With any new mods I've added, I've got to update it. So I apologize for being a bit late on that. Okay, it's not super duper close. Um, they can't, can they spawn in toolboxes or is it only PCs? Probably only PCs would make sense to me. Maybe even a tech crate as well. Key to the tower. Air filtering unit. Do that, do that, do that. Just so we make a little bit of money if we die. There is something on the ground. I knew there would be. Tube. Mate, that is clipped into the ground that much. I cannot see that at all. Really. Not even any grenade box spawns there. Okay. That's fine. But how are we encumbrance wise? We're not at, um, not regaining stamina from sprinting yet. I mean, from walking yet. That's like 40 something, 47 kilos, so. It's good to know. It's it's just a good thing. It's a good reference to have, and you don't even see it until you open the HUD. I have changed where the HUD will display, by the way. So if you're looking for if I kill somebody, where that's going to pop up, it'll pop up up in the top left corner like a kill feed. I just want to try and see how it is not having it pop up in the middle of my screen. So you guys and girls can still see, you know, the range that I shot them at where I hit them, but it's not dead center. Only the hit markers will show up dead center then. Just less distracting, you know. Did they just kill the fucking... Sniper scav. Bloody bear killed my scav that I could have killed. Oh shit. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just shot at him and pissed him off. Yep. Got him. Took me a bit, but I got him. I don't like this guy's spotted dog shit. Bro, I killed him. Nah, not a chance. Of me picking that up. Uh, you got a big boy armor, but it's heavy. Puts me right at the cap. Nice. Boy, it's good to get a good key. Keep searching this. We probably want to... We're going to have to drop this if we get an all fight. Potentially. Just because... Uh, yeah. I mean, the gun's so shit. It's not even worth carrying. To be honest. It's pretty crap. It's not worth anything. Really. I don't even want to be weighed down by it. Yeah, and I've got to do the Wi-Fi camera here too. That's on the other end of the map though. We're going to go that way for extract regardless, so that's fine. We can do that, no worries. I was double checking to make sure Terrace menu is set right. So, um, 
terrace menu set right so I didn't have, um... What do you call it? God mode on, but I don't. I just double-checked it to make sure I did turn it off before I started recording, and I did. I only have it on to make to do my thumbnails, and sometimes I forget to turn it off. Not intentional. exactly firing from. I know they're over that direction, but where? It's like they're shooting up to where I'm heading to, which is what I'm worried about. It's just like, why are you shooting this towards this way? What's this way? You know? Makes me worried. <clears throat> Hopefully there'll be some scavs at dorms that we can just rip into asshole. I'm gonna be careful here because PMCs and shit hanging out along here. Pretty sketch. Alright, when I push into the building and that, I'll, I'll drop the bag. I don't need the bag on me. It's just weighing me down at this point. Got to be careful as we move up here, because I've had quite a few fights with PMCs in these forest areas. I mean, I guess they could just be fighting the goons, kind of, or chipping away at the goons. I don't know. Seems awfully quiet. I'll check it. I was going to say, PCs is what I'm looking for, though. Ooh, hello. You're worth a bit of money. There we are. Keys, maybe? Let's have a look. This one is not. Ooh. Come on. Why does the game hate me and not want to give me good keys? Oh, yeah. I hear shooting constantly, it doesn't stop, but... Strikes. Fucking hell, he's wearing a killer helmet, was he not? And was too. Woo! My man. Probably maybe worth trying to just get out of here. Maybe. If we can. We gotta be careful because we're overweight.
Should be able to go out Smuggler's Boat is what I'm thinking. We can go out there. We are very heavy though. This will be big money for us if we can, uh, live the raid. I am tempted just to peek my head in here. I hear nothing. Sounds very quiet in there, actually. Oh, cool. I just run out of stamina in the middle of the open. That's good. Shit. Got the bag. I'm still pretty heavy. I don't know what he has in it. M993? Oh, yeah. That would have, um, not tickled. Wait, what the hell did I just drop? Ah, oh, it was the bag logo still there. I was so confused. Okay, run, run, run. We got the Wi-Fi camera we can do when we get up here as well. Interesting. Looking through alt turns that laser on and off. I did not know that. On this side. That's interesting. Because T... T turns the flashlight on. It doesn't do the one you're thinking. So that's interesting. Ah, oh, shit. That's from... That was at, from dorms, by the way. I just realized that was all the way from dorms. It's just... Bleh. Get our stand back for a sec. this. 20 seconds of torture while I've just been shot at from dorms. It's The only thing I can think of is that he was standing on the top of the stairs from the third story and shot at me from three story. From the three story top step at the doorway. Because that would give him the angle he needed to shoot a round at me. Not a guaranteed hit but he could at least shoot at me to scare the shit out of me. Yep, definitely. Just take this and mosey our way on out of here, yeah? Swear to God, if someone's camping smuggler's boat, I'm gonna be pissed. Nah, we're good. Nobody shoot me, please. Nobody shoot at me, please. Leave me alone. Yes. Alright. We got a survived raid in this episode at least. So if we die every raid after this, at least we've got one. All right, it's time for a bit of a sell job. I had my effect on. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Anywho, time for a sell job is what I was going to say before being rudely interrupted by myself being echoey. I was messing around going. <laughs> Yeah, I was being silly. There's no real reason for it other than because I could. So, Artem. Wanderer, I'm a wanderer. Communication is key. 
hand over three secure flash drives hand over three wi-fi cameras hand over three signal jammers i need to find two intelligence folders in raid it gives me a physical bitcoin and some m995 it's not bad that's not bad at all ballet lover Oh, I've got those that I can give you. There you go. I don't want the tacker, but... There's A. MRE. We still need to do the USEC ones on there. Oh. Half mask. Because it's worth going and killing... You know what? It might even be... Oh, what do we got? Mule stimulant. And uh, that... Is ridiculous. Insane. Here you go, peacekeeper. You can have a mule stimulant. Thanks. That gives me an ammo case too. And a exfil team Wendy helmet though. That's pretty cool. Look at all my money. I have money now. People call me a broke ass bitch. Don't worry, I figured it out, guys. We got the money. One of three needed to complete farming part four. What? Alright, I just sold the ammo case on the flea as well. Didn't need it. I got plenty. Needed the money more than anything else. Okay, so we got some moolah. You know what? What are they charging for a marked key? If we go marked. Dorm room 314. What? Holy shit, all the marked kit. Oh my god. One's not the worst. That one's expensive. That one's not the worst, but it's probably crap. I mean, I guess the thing is they're unlimited uses. So yeah, it would cost me a lot, but they are unlimited uses. Mysterious marked. So that's... That's for streets. Dude, the customs one is insanely expensive. My goodness. We need to save up some serious bickies to be able to do that. So the biggest thing I want to show is I set up a bunch of these to craft off camera and then I sold some stuff to balance out our money again. So I just wanted to get these installed. We've got a bunch of them now. I'm going to turn these on. Yeah, we got the weapon, the the weapon rack, the weapon rack now, so we can do shit like this. Free up the old inventory a little bit, maybe if it'll let me place it the way I want to, which it won't for some reason. Interesting. Like it automatically spins them. They've got to be placed like that, which is kind of silly. Okay, whatever. It did get some out of it. And then level two, that's a whole thing. All right, well, we've got the gym now installed. And the Hall of Fame. Badoom. Nice. Right, now what we can do... Go through the hole in the wall. Switch to place Hall of Fame. How does one put items in said Hall of Fame? Okay, restart of the game seemed to fix it. I want to make sure I've got this out. That's probably our best one that we have. So if we go down here, open this. Uh, 
37. 31. That seems to be the best ones we've got. And then trophy-wise, we've got all these little knick-knack thingies. Ah, they count as large. Interesting. So what counts as small, these? Yeah. Figured that'd be the case. Nope. Nope. Does free up some inventory though by doing this. There we go. Then the small little ones. They don't count Lupo's coffee beans as a small thing. You joking? What about 42? Yeah, there you go. Nope. I'm just trying to make it look stylish. Oh, yeah. Group skill group leveling physical about a half a percent more. Let's have a look though. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like how we've got this now. We can kind of look at it and be like, yeah. Plus, it did free up some of our space. Begin workout. Ah, it's a left click. I'm pushing it too early. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I'm terrible at this. Okay. All I'm doing is going and making myself tired. Because I think it does... My mild muscle pain. Less than a day left. Yeah, it's fine. I can deal with mild muscle pain. Yeah, I ended up messing that up so bad. I gotta practice that. Holy crap. I'm not touching anything. This is my mouse doing this. Well, something's taken over the game. There we go. Alright, so I think we got everything I wanted to get installed. Installed. Yeah, it'll do it. Something else we could do too is gunsmith for a memento. I think it's this one that he wanted. Yep. Let's sort of see what it unlocks for us. Because I think it's worth doing these while we've got some cash on us to do a few. M4. I don't know which one it is. That is expensive as frick. My god. Uh, it has a 60 round mag. It is... Oh, maybe it's that one. The one doesn't look as complicated, yeah. And it's early on, so I didn't think it'd be that one yet. Part 8. AKS-74N. Okay. See, I don't enjoy doing the, the gunsmith ones. To be honest. Uh, that was the wrong thing I just spent money on. God damn it. Okay, that's as far as it'll let me go. For now. Hours until part 9 un unlocks after completion. 21. What? And what does it want? AK Zenit. AKS 74N. Oh no, that's the completed one. Okay. Well, I'm going to lose a little bit of money on it, but that's fine. We'll sell that as well. I mean, it's just miscellaneous shit, kind of, to a degree, but the ammo is nice to get. And these I can just, I don't know, sell or something. I'll figure it out. Charla's up. Interesting. Do guards count as scavs? Because I'm kind of tempted to just rush him and kill him. 
I wouldn't mind killing Rashala. We haven't killed him on this series, on this uh, playthrough yet. Sounds like someone's already trying. Who's dorms? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's head to dorms then. So there we go. I did install visceral bodies. I mean, uh, visceral dismemberment for people curious if why you see heads explode sometimes and stuff now, maybe. I did install that mod. It caused some issues, but that seems to be fine now. It used to cause issues with the free cam mode when I was doing thumbnails. The headshots and stuff would blow my face off, so I couldn't actually see through the camera. But it seems to be okay, so we're going to just roll with it. Pretty close. Get back behind there. Can't see him though. I can't even. Oh, there he is. We got to peek at him. Ah, uh, shooting at me. We need to push him with a flashbang, maybe. We'll push him with the flashbang. That's the way we'll do it. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Jesus. That was nearly bad. Oh god, run, 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 run. Charlotte's boys were out the side. I didn't know. I just got lit up. Sorry. I was being talked to, so I didn't want to. I should have just muted my mic. The guards are here. If you're wondering what the hell's going on. <coughs> Apparently, they all pushed me. The two of them pushed me and I was trying to run around the building. <coughs> Normally I would just mute my mic, so I apologize. <coughs> Jesus, we're not in a good spot here to do this, but we don't really have time to heal up. We need to try and take at least one or two of them out. If we could shut up, that would be preferred. <laughs> I didn't realize he lit me out. will work for me. Assuming we don't get pushed by anybody, we'll be okay. It takes so long. Big pet peeve of mine, it really slows down the game to spend so much time doing the survive kits. Does my head in. Okay, we'll try and get these healed up as best we can. Well, that was just a PMC boy. I wonder if they were just PMCs and not guards. I apologize for you guys missing it. Uh, all, I'd, all I did was I just shot at one and then ran. There's another dude was at the top of the stairs. Which is the guy we just went up and killed. This is insanity. Okay, we're almost healed. Holy shit. Alright. I suppose we probably want to sort our ammo out too while we're here because otherwise... We're not going to have any chance against them if we don't have full, full mags. I'm pretty sure I can hear them over there. Yelling about. 
Yeah, they're definitely fighting. I can hear him going, Ah, yeah, yeah, Suka. So I think Suka's bitch in Russian? Is that what it is? Let's get this one mag done and then we'd, we'd get, we're gonna go try and kill him. Someone else is trying. It sounds like they're not winning. But it does mean they'll be hit. So this is good. Uh, we need to go. I'm gonna go from the top around the side. That's where it actually sounds. Someone died. I heard him die. Yeah, I got shot at down there. Okay. Alright, guards. There's a dead man right there. Sound like they're fighting outside or downstairs, but I want to check up here anyway. Are they fighting outside? It sounded like they were yelling down there, but they're definitely not upstairs. Would that be the Rashal la 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 la? Just gonna check. Cause I do hear yelling. Rashal la 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 baby, you out here? Sometimes he likes to hang out on the roof by himself and think about his day. Charlie, you piece of shit. They gotta be on the bottom floor then, yeah? That would be a yes. What's going on over there? Hmm. Fucking terror group. He's gonna be back here. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> nice. All right, so we got bear, and now we have goddamn scavs. They actually sound like they're above me. Where the fuck it? God damn you, Rashal, you piss me off. Yeah, he's definitely above me. He's hiding in the fucking rooms. In the, in the little bedrooms in the top, in the second floor. Fucking. Come here, you piece of shit. Where are you? Are you still around this corner? <laughs> Piece of shit. <coughs> Cough for me, motherfucker. Cough for me. <coughs> I 
gonna pop this so then they don't hear me coming. <laughs> We got him. Cocksucker! Please tell me that was all of them. Sweet. Well, we'll do that first. God, the uh, extracts don't lend themselves to be too great for us. Crossroads is the closest thing to us. Ooh, getting all weird vision. Can I... This doesn't have a door. Everything else is just messed up, so that's good. Okay, we topped up some mags. Oh, you beautiful man, you do have it with you. Thank you, sir. You got a labs key card for me by chance? That would be sick. I'd love one of them. I don't know why I check here for most of the time. Just for a memento. I'll fix that up in a minute. Bench, hipster glasses, a black rock rig. Hmm. I really should download the mod that allows me to modify weapons in raid. It's the only thing that's really on it that's worth a bit anyway, apart from the Bastion, so... We'll just do that. Um... Okay. Okay, I took the the things that are worth money off of uh, that boy's gun. Now we just gotta try and get out of here. With what we've got. There we go. I could have fit the gun, but I don't even, didn't even want the gun. I just wanted the parts off of it that made the gun expensive. That's the thing that's worth more. Okay, we're going to try and get our way all to crossroads. That's going to be fun. Okay, we're not quite at the cap where we don't regain stamina, so that's good. To be honest, it's better. Oh, blurry vision. Thank you, painkillers. And if we can kill some scavs on the way, awesome. Because we still need to kill four more. Which means we only... We got four this raid. 
I think it was normal, my normal scav and three guards, maybe. Maybe Rashala counts as one. I'm not sure. I didn't check when I killed him. I was more focused on shooting him because we only had like 100 health to our name. So we were just, we had to go for the head and hope that we didn't get shot first. And we were lucky. We did not get shot first. We killed him. And earned ourselves an achievement for it. Which is nice as well. Always a good thing. I kind of like the achievements. It does it does give you an incentive. I mean, like, for live, I get it because it shows you, like, when did they earn this? How many times have they earned this medal? Shit like that. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, 90% of the ones you see are cheater profiles and nothing ever legitimate that makes you feel like, oh, wow, I really got bested. It's like, oh, wow, I really got bested by somebody from a different country who brought things off the internet to make it easier to cheat. God damn it. If we survived this, we've got, we should, I'm going to try and do maybe one more sneaky cheeky raid as well for the episode. Try and do three. Our boy Rishala probably regrets messing with us. So I also want to redo the um, single player Tarkov intro with the new 3.8.0 update. I've got a lot of ideas for the way I'm going to do the intro. And actually, I may mess around and start making some YouTube shorts of some single-player Tarkov stuff, because I actually kind of like the little film makey little 30-second clips of some shit, and I think that'd be fun to mess around with. Okay, we just got to watch the care of this area, and Big Red. More than anything else, these bush, bushed areas, they make me worried, because they can, you can get peeked out of them. Yeah, they may not be. Uh, they may not shoot you through them often because of the no bush ESP. But that doesn't mean they won't run out of them and start firing at you. And sometimes they're not very easy to see. If I'm being honest here, sometimes they're really hard to spot. Look at the difference in color. Just the color grading alone. Okay, we're good. Beautiful. Big raid. Scav you set guard, guard boss. So he must have counted. Because we, yeah. So Rashala counts. That's cool. That's good to know. Still got a fair way to go. BT, yeah. Uh, yeah, still got a fair way to go till we get to level uh, 30. Then Artem will have a new uh, trader level for us and probably some pretty cool shit. So I really want to see what he's got. That would be lovely. Well, we don't need Rishala's pistol at a later date now because we already have it. Didn't know we needed this as well. I know we need that for sell it good, but we can craft... The black rocks, we don't need to actually have them if we don't want. Um, like I said, because we can craft them. I'm also going to keep all the ammo out of all these guys' mags for sure, except for that war. That war shit. War mage can fuck right off. Everything else isn't bad though. I'll take all the rip ammo. And then, you know, it would be, it maybe it'd be a bit of fun to mess around with the MP5, to be honest. Although I've only got rip ammo for it. I don't know whether I want to use rip. Ah, oh, it's burst though. I don't want the burst variant. Not a chance do I want the burst variant. Just gotta sell all this shit. Uh, and all the rip ammo and stuff can all go away. That war mage shit's getting sold though. Put away all the BT and the rip ammo. It's always good for us. And then we've got some attaches. That's good. I actually like this scope, so we're going to keep that. And uh, that can go as well. What do we got in here? All war made shit? Okay. Well, that's definitely going to go then. There's no way we're going to keep that. That's BT though. There we go. Now we see what we can get out of it. Um, 
140k. Uh, gunsmith then for that. There we go. Awesome. What a task are we close to completing? That one, the CPU fans. We need the lower half mass, which I didn't see any. Not that I was paying a ton of attention. All right, Michelle is near the gas station. Mm. The only thing about fighting him is it's guaranteed scav kills because they count as scavs. The problem is, it's risky. There's no doubt about that. Okay, let's check on this. Salt's worth a little bit. Propane is too heavy to make it worth carrying around, to be honest. There used to be a jacket there. I mean, it just must be random spawn now, which I'm not a big fan of. Is that a gas station? I think it might be. Gonna check if old mate's up there. Doesn't appear to be. Wish I had some nades. Back in there. I'm trying to think of how we're going to do this. I hate this long line of sight towards them. With not a lot of cover, but... We go through... That factory gate. I don't know whether that's better or worse for us. Checking to see whether we got scavs here or not. Oh, so I hit my shots. There we go. Right, we're going to slowly try and move our way up here. Cover to cover. Wait a minute. Oh. I was like, what the hell was that prompt that just popped up? I was about to say they look like they're not hanging out the backside, but then one of them peaked. Come on, peek again. Uh huh. That's Rashala. He's over that side. I don't have any cover. I've got to move up to the fence line. Okay. We know one was next to the truck. I can still hear him. up in here.
Come on. Bastard. The hell was that? Oh, never mind. I gotta stay focused. Turn your piece of shit. I know you're out of here. I know he is. I heard him on the fucking concrete. Wonder how good his hearing is, though. You the only boy left? It's a shame, isn't it? Look at you with your deep pockets. Labs card? You're a cheap fuck. For real. Look at all you boys. Right, let's move on and see actually what they've got. Ah! Can you guys get out of my fucking way? Thank you. I can hear somebody. Definitely could hear it. Need ammo for rearming, preparing what? Okay. Whatever you say, champ. Take your money and your grenade. Big belt combo rig on you, huh? Did you have the goods? You had the goods. Of course you had the goods. Come on. Get that shit unloaded. I'm gonna pick up that other guy's black rock, by the way. Side. There's a couple of them.
how are they? Do I have any other extracts up? I go to ZB. We could try and run across and try and turn the power on. We gotta be careful out here because you heard the footsteps running around. I fucking know it was right there though. Jesus Christ. Fucking go. Get the hell out of here. Close that. Leave me alone. Yeah, we can go in here and then turn the power on and then go down low. Because I've got the factory key now, so I can actually go out that way. Mate, I'll take killing Rashala twice in an episode. And then we're gonna end up having to kill him again when the quest inevitably comes up for it, but... You know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, yeah? Man, I need 13 of them over time, that's crazy. Breach. What do we got here? I mean, I guess I could take this. Worth a bit on the flea. The only ship part is we gotta go through old gas to go there, but... That's okay. Maybe not so okay. That was a scav, I honestly really thought that was PMC the way he was running around. What we got here? Worth a little bit of coin. He had a big bag. What is this, the parachute bag or some shit? Maybe, I don't know. Why is he the most kitted scab I've ever seen? What the fuck? Hang on. I just heard somebody. As much as I kind of want to grab that bag... Hmm... Because of the stock, it's so wide. I mean, to be fair, I could just take the parts off again, like I did last time. That I wanted. That were worth a bit. Take this. I can even... I can even take that. Worried about money. Which, to be honest, I'm not really particularly fussed about money at the moment in-game. We've got some money. 
to all they're trying to tick off quests. As long as we've got money to spend on quests, we're good. Well, we are overweight now. So we're not going to regain stam back when we use it. We're not going to get it walking or anything, so... I'm going to try and... Be a little bit careful as we make our way towards here. I do want to check while we're here. No. Okay, here we go. Was this worth? Yeah. I think it's worth taking. Okay, we're gonna make our way over there though. This is the ship bit. Because we're pretty slow and this is a pretty open area. We'll probably sprint across there if I'm being honest. Gonna try and chill for a sec and... There's a dead body there. I really hate how we've got to go prone to get oh, through this area. Okay, go. I would run, like, head first into that, wouldn't I? You just gotta go down here. And through this door down here. It's worth a lot of money. Fuck the RPK. We're gonna take the filter for sure. Actually, hang on. Yep. Because if you sell it on the flea, it says, oh yeah, it's going to give you big money. But the reality is the flea market doesn't work. They're not looking for things with attachments. They're just looking for base price. And it's like 40k, so it's just more worth it to take the AK and sell it to mechanic. But killing Rashala twice in one episode and his guards. Mm, big raid. And technically getting a quest done. Like I said, the only reason I pushed for Shala is because I knew it was guaranteed scav kills. If we could kill him. Of course, like, we, we took the risk because we're going to be guaranteed to be probably fighting scavs that are using, like, BT ammo. So, we're already taking a risk. We're taking them on. So. Alright, the game throw is coming out of raid, but we're back. So that's big money. Big, big money. Uh, and then we've got shit like this, we just talk shit. Uh, that I wouldn't mind keeping. Let's just see. Okay, we'll put the filter up. Everything else I'm just going to sell through whoever gives me the biggest price trader was. I think. Boop -ba -doo, and then Ragman, Mechanic, Gunsmith, yeah probably, Crap Whore, Look at my Hobo, Regulated Materials, OFZ Shells, and I need to find a Stand Military Battery in Raid. That's fine, we can just craft that. That's easy. 
and then just the OFZ shells, which I'm not sure whether I can craft those. That I will have to check, but we've got paid big money. There we go. Rolling in the dough this episode. We have sorted money problems out more than fairly. So we should be able to roll through on this series for the next couple episodes with not too big an issue. But for now, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more single player Tarkov in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Become a channel member if you want to see videos early and have some access to some cool emotes. And I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace! Thank you.